Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at layers. We're going to have tons of fun with layers and one of the reasons why is because I've been having so many questions asked of me. How do you get all these different photos onto one image using different layers? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at my layers palette. As you can see, I have a bunch of different photos here and even a couple layer masks that I've used to create this model card. Now I want to thank right now Ryan Abel for letting me use these under the Creative Commons Flickr license and the name of the model is Chad Buchanan. So we've got Chad here and this model card and I've selected four photos and kind of randomly put them on this image and as you can see they're all kind of the line of sight is pointing over here to this main image that I have that's the largest image. This one isn't so much uh, looking at where it's supposed to, it's looking down at his hand right there. So uh, Please disregard this one, but as you can see, the line of sight over here is to uh, the large image, and over here it is from the top over here. And we can go ahead and make those just using four different images. Now I'm going to go ahead and close mine right here. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to close this image, and I'm not going to save this. Now what you want to do is you want to open all the images that you want to place on your main image. Just open them all up. Just go to File, Open and you can open all those images up and what they're going to do is they're going to show up in your project bin right down here. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to go to File New and I'm going to create a blank file. And This one I'm just going to call it Layers and I've selected 1920 by 1080 if that sounds familiar that is your high definition television resolution right there. I'm going to select it at 300 as my resolution and then color mode RGB and background color contents I'm going to leave those transparent because we really don't need any kind of background color and I'm going to select OK and as you can see it created this new transparent image for me and it's transparent because it has a little uh, gray and white checkerboard. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my move tool because that's the best one that I can use to drag these up there and then for now I'm going to leave the uh, auto select box checked, the bounding box checked and uh, show highlight on rollover check. I'm going to go down here into my project bin. I'm going to grab that photo and drag it on top of this new image and then I'm going to place it where I want to place it and then I'm going to resize it. You can see that there's little handles right there. That's the show bounding box option right there. And I'm going to drag this until it fills up the top and bottom of the screen. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. So there's my first photo right there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is grab another photo, seeing which one I like. Uh, put putting that one at the top and I think I'm going to grab uh, this one right here. Go ahead and do that. Select that and then I'm going to drag this over here and as I drag these in that's just dragging them in order one on top of another one. So I'm going to do that. Bring that over here and about right there. Maybe resize it just a tiny bit over there and then hit enter and there we have the second photo. I'm going to go ahead and drag the third photo from my project bin. Just drag that and let go of it there and then go ahead and move it down over here and then I'm going to resize it just a little bit so I can get this almost the full size of the image in there and then when I'm happy with that I can either go to my green checkbox right there or I can hit enter on my keyboard. And then last but not least I'm going to drag the last image here from my project bin. I'm going to go ahead and let go of that and then I want to resize it. And I want to resize it to about the same height as this one is right there. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now the ways layers work is obviously the top layer everything falls underneath it just like paper. So if this was the top paper or the top picture and then I slid this picture around. Let me go ahead and select that layer and I slid this picture around. As you can see it's going to disappear underneath that one because it is on the layer just below that. Now if I went ahead and I changed these layers by dragging this layer above the other one 
and then I did the same thing and I slid that over you can see that now this is the top picture and it is going to hide all the other pictures now that's not what I want actually that is what I want that is what I want and then I'm gonna take this second picture which is right here I can go ahead and click on it and it makes it active and I'm gonna slide this one underneath the other one and as you can see this one slid underneath that one and then these two pictures are on top of this one so of course it is going to cover up any pieces of this image right here and then last but not least these three image images together are on top of this image so of course it's hiding whatever's left on this piece over here and there we have it we have four images I just drug those images on top of this and then as you can see he's looking down over here onto this image and then of course he's looking over here onto the image but as I said this one isn't very good because this one is looking in the wrong direction now if this image is just a little bit too much to the left I can go ahead and drag this photo click on it making it active you'll see the little handles right there and I can go ahead and move that just a little bit off to the right hand side like that move it up and down until I can't see the transparency anymore and when I'm happy hit the return key and as you can see because it is at the bottom right here it is going to slide in and out underneath these other pictures and there you have it creating a model card with four pictures using layers now I'm gonna go ahead and do a more detailed tutorial on layers and layer masking and everything there is to know about blending modes and all that other kind of stuff but right now I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to manipulate layers now if you're wondering about the layer masking um, let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick if I, I put this image right here and if I put that on the top of the other two and I wanted to see these images I could add a quick layer mask and that is create a rectangular marquee around the area that I want to mask off which is right about here I could go ahead and add the layer mask right there and what that would do is that would hide this area of this picture allowing the others to, other two pictures to show through. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. I hope you like this one, on, a real quick one on layers. Please subscribe, favorite, and then pass the link on to your friends. Cheers.